A catalyst that can convert carbon dioxide into plastic has been developed by researchers in the hope of saving the environment. Some environmental groups, however, question whether this is a solution to the plastic pollution problem, claiming it could make the issue worse. The new study, led by researchers at the University of Toronto, the University of California, Berkeley, and the Canadian Light Source CLS, relied on the Canadian Light Source Canada's National Synchrotron Light Source Facility, as well as a new technique exclusive to the facility. This experiment could not have been performed anywhere else in the world, and we are thrilled with the results says University of Toronto PhD student Phil DeLuna, the lead author of the research. According to the researchers, many types of metals can serve as catalysts in this type of reaction. Gold, silver and zinc can make carbon monoxide, while tin and palladium can make formate. The researchers say that, if the method were paired with carbon capture technology, it could lead to a very green production mechanism for everyday plastics, while also sequestering harmful greenhouse gases. I think the future will be filled with technologies that make value out of waste, says DeLuna. It's exciting because we are working towards developing new and sustainable ways to meet the energy demands of the future, says DeLuna. Surfers Against Sewage, an organization dedicated to the protection of oceans, beaches and wildlife, told the Mail in Line. Whilst this isn't technology we've been exposed to or investigated, Surfers Against Sewage believes that society needs to reinvent its relationship with plastics and wean itself off its addiction to single-use plastics in particular. Finding new ways to produce more will exacerbate what is already a global plastic pollution crisis. Plastic production is set to quadruple by 2050 without these new production techniques, and with the oceans already choking in plastics we can't afford to ramp up production any further. Carbon dioxide and plastics are two of the biggest global environmental threats, driving changes at a planetary scale.